Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I'm going to do a tear down. Decided. Right, I've got this donated into the garage. It's a Samsung monitor, model number, God knows what. Um, model number oh, 520 FTF Basic, God knows, I don't know. Don't even care, don't even want to get associated with it well, well that much. Only thing that's worrying, mate, there's this. There's a base on here which has got the speakers on the opposite side, which makes it kind of an all in one. You haven't got to faff with buy extra speakers, and it's already here. The whole bottom tilts, oh, spit swivels, that's not too bad. But for some reason, the cable is like this, and that, that's just worrying me a little. I don't like seeing other people's bodge work, I'd rather see my own bodge work. Oh, that's just punched myself in the stomach. At least I've got that on, on video, so I know where that bruise came from. Yeah. Okay. So something must have happened to this, that the um, cables have all been cut like that. Six, seven, nine under the earth. I'm not happy with having it, so it was a donation, it was just one of those, oh we can have it if you want, yeah go on then, but now it's uh, gone, it wasn't really HDMI or anything, or it's just a standard 15 pin, oh, oh no I'm going to say 15 pin, but one's missing, but one was never meant to be there, okay, so, Let's strip this thing down, shall we? Drill bit too small. Right, I'm gonna hack at this to start with, because I don't care. Bit of a clean freak sometimes. There's only one in there. So I've not got your view. Guessing, drill bit fell off. <laughs> I got one out finally. Tools away. Right. How on earth do I do this? Five. I mean, this is obviously now stripping for parts. I must get that off. Okay, hold on. Ah. Bum, bum, bum. Notice on the base of here's two holes. If you line up properly, there's a screw down there. Sly old Samsung. The one behind here? No. Okay. But we're not going to be um, subtle about this. Is there a screw there? Yes, there is. A screw up here. So basically, if you're taking one of these to pieces, if you've got one, keep spinning it around until you get some screws. One there. One there. Two down here. Ah. Behind there now, one there, one there. What is that? I can't get my screw driver into that one. I do love these tear down videos, the things go right, and holes there. So that should be it then for screws on the base. Okay, let's go bull in the china shop. My hand caught. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
face off. Broken in the middle, but again, don't care. Ah, another screw up here. Missed one. What does that? What does that release? Trying to pull the base off and it's coming off already. Okay, right. So we have power supply. We have cable for monitor. Could have easily have got that replaced and eat better way instead of wiring it down here. Two small speakers. Connect that and pull up. Connectors. Power. Looks like. Audio, more power there. Good lord, took that off wrong, haven't I? Just held in with a cable grip. Another earth. You know, for just the power in, this is a pain in the ass. I'm glad you can see that. That's really heavy for a base. Okay, nothing majorly wrong, just a couple of audio inputs. Resistor diode. Yeah. Capacitors. And the power bit there will obviously go to those three and then off the transformer. Let's have a look on the rear. Rather use that because it's bloody easy. Knacking my wrists up. Get rid of that. <sighs> Doo -doo. Part of the stand. I love these speakers. I keep saving speakers off things. I don't know if it's an obsession or whether I'm just going to use them for anything. But nice little, um, yeah. Sure, I could use that. So that one's beyond the over here. Right inside with a pile of things to save. As well as that one. And let's just unscrew. These screws here don't need to just take off because they're only holding the plastic front on for the um, speaker grill. Well, I'm not that electrocute myself in anything. Power supply. Almost off. I'm very wary about things electrical lately. It's ever since I um did something on the PlayStation, no, the Xbox. And I touched the wrong part and it just shocked me. And I'm just completely wary now of everything. Right, it's a power supply. Anything on there I can use? It looks quite old. Use circuit board. Yeah, 
nothing really much that I want to use on that. So I know you're all screaming, don't take the pieces. Tough. I can't I can't give away stuff like this. I know it's worthless and useless, but I'm having problems with my little Freegal group. Like I think I said before, they think I'm selling items on YouTube. And I've explained to them, you can't sell things on YouTube. But I've got to take it further because the people who think I'm selling, if they're getting away with it, with other people, then they shouldn't be allowed to. I'll keep that because basically I'm bullied into um, not being on Freegal by people who really really should know better and I haven't got a I don't think I've got a leg to stand on but while I've still got let's say I'm going to have a I'll have my, um, yeah, two minutes worth and see what I can, what I can do. I don't want to out anybody's names here, because that's not what I'm doing, but they really shouldn't be allowed moderators on Freegal to do what the hell they want when people are doing absolutely nothing wrong. So, that's that off there. I wonder if. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Thought our Xbox 360 was easier than this to take to pieces. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Side is up. Corners. Especially up. Ouch! Bloody thing. Uh, if you're doing this yourself, if you've got your own Syncmaster 520 FTF, then good luck. I think I've missed something here. Nearly. Nearly ripped my face off then. Ah. Oh, more plastic blooming covers. Okay, another plastic cover. Right. Hoping these last four will take this back off. Hope failed. What am I missing here? Okay. there that comes up here that comes off there leaving that part there come off like that leaving two cables in and I'm still scratching my head how did it come off there there's no hidden switches uh, switches uh, no hidden screws there is that fake? That looks fake to me. God, the amount of panels on this bloody thing. Oh. Yeah, you could have replaced that quite easier as well. Because that just clips onto there. It's not a standard socket, but it's... I'm sure I could find a cable for it. 
as that one were. Hmm. <sighs> I hope you're having as much fun watching this as I am doing it. Everybody's doing it. Doing it. Shall we undo that? with a socket set right now. Ow, you flipper. Shoot. Pliers are quite good, but they have this bloody bit here. I keep nipping myself. At the minute, my hands are quite relatively cut free for a change. That instead, that'd be easier. Oh, you dare! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> right, let's see. Getting this FST. Sometimes screws are pain in the arse. Um, it's not attached to anything, nothing. Uh, switching a light, no. Not really bothered. I have LEDs. Yeah, why not? Keep that one. Just nip. Load a few mark switches. I don't have any. I should actually buy a load. It'd be really good to have some, I think. Oh, bear with us. Down to all the heat shield bit. I like heat shield. The yeah. <clears throat> interference bit. Doesn't stop me interfering though. Yay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They do. Ooh. Interesting. Chips ahoy. So what I've done is I've pulled and I've stuck my finger on I think the corner bit of there and I've just dug it into so bloody stings but I think I might keep that for bits for parts. <sighs> Don't worry viewers I bleed for you. Come back next week see what else I can cut. Really stings you know here. Cutting myself. Right, let's have a look. You see here. Now we've got a lot of screws here. Oh, 
hard fluff. Right, so there goes the screen. That's just covers. Oh, let's tidy up a little bit. Uh -huh. oh, bloody thing. This thing's coming off. Maybe not. Sugar. So this is basically now turned into a how to wrap your finger up with tissue and sellotape and how many cuts. You know what I did actually say about how I'm relatively cut free? Not quite ironic. I don't tell I've just done it again. No. Alright. Okay, I'm working through it. Alright, so that's off of there. I think that might be for the bike light at the top. Do, 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 do. Let's cut these off. Cutters, cutters, cutters. I just want to get rid of this bloody thing here. It kills me again. So, another case and I'm left with the screen in all its glory I've got a control board on there this ribbon cable get rid of that just glued to it one of them um, carbon effigies Now, I've, I've done a couple of monitors in the past, and once you get down low enough, it's just thin layered plastic after thin layered plastic, and I can really use that stuff. You know, here's somewhere where there will be the bike light. I think there are probably two actually, that's why there's. Yeah. I mean, these are the bits. That's kind of um, strange, isn't it? Toshiba. Isn't this a Samsung? I don't want to tell them what they're doing, but hey ho. We're all being conned. You buy a TV because I don't want a Samsung in my house. They're rubbish. Or I don't want a Toshiba in my house. They're all the same. Just like that boy said from Volcano. We're all the same. No, we're not. We're all the pain in the ass. Some people less the pain in the ass than others. La la la. La la la. So, very thin board. Very thin. Oh, I am not unsoldering anything on there. I'm going to go to see Toshiba chip on there. See the number on that. Toshiba parts, American parts, Russian parts, all made in Taiwan. And, and can I find the next part? I don't know. Mantling is so much fun. Right. That bit's held in there, which means a what? Plastic, the uh, metal around the edge, holding things back from me. Just layers after layers of these things. Just absolutely amazing. Are these? They're not the bike lights, are they? No, can't be. And that screen has just come out. Okay, so this is what I like best. We get layers of this is glass. 
I'm not using that for anything because it's probably just going to shatter on me. Can't unlayer any of this. So that has to go in the bin. Sealed in. I'll start cracking that. A little more. Cuts on my hands. Now, what gets me is this next layer. I think this is glued in. I didn't manage to take that light off there, but got another one that's I would slide that way. Let's just bend, 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 bend. It's a cold cathode. Oh. Ho ho ho. I like using cold cathodes. It's a couple of the models I have upstairs. The um, Star Trek models. It was cold cathodes on that. If I realised that it was them, I wouldn't have been so hasty. To the right. that one there it's amazing what things you can actually find on these things there's the other cold cathode I can wire up I'm sure something love having lighting on stuff so I love it. Right, last part. Da, da, da. Just gonna prise these up. Come on. Be careful, bloody hell. Right. And what I'm left with. Now, that's fell to pieces. That's very shiny. Well, not for that. <clears> These <throat> two pieces look exactly the same, except that. That leaves me with. Let's stick to that now. That's a piece of. Well, they're not paper, it's plastic, but it's thin plastic. Nice good sheet of perspex, standard perspex, because you can see straight through it, it's an acrylic. Guess what? I used to work at a plastics company. If you see down the edges of a, of a piece of plastic and it's dark, it looks black down it, that's polycarbonate. It means it's um, you can hit it with a hammer and it won't shatter. This you will, but this is cheaper, but this is quite thick stuff, there's good 5 mil this. Hmm. Use that for something. Don't think I can use that for out, but see these paper bits here I can use for diffusion. Light diffusion and stuff. You can see through it, but you can't much. And I just love these. They actually make the everything just looks balmy with them. So much reflective of light, I love it. Isn't that a darkened one? Oh, a filter. Hello. That was me. So, yeah. There we have it. There I am. No, I'm not. There I am. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. That's how to strip down a Samsung. <laughs> yes. A Samsung SyncMaster 520FTF Basic LXB 530TL oh, If you wanted to do that yourself, go for it. You can get some good things out of them. I've got a pile of rubbish over there I need to um, check out and put in the bin. But, 
I hope you enjoyed that because I really do love taking things to pieces. But please like, subscribe. Tidying up again before the video's finished. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, and hopefully this doesn't bleed too much. Bye. Thank you.